Right, emergency manager Kevin Orr's time will soon be up, and he's starting to unload more of the city responsibilities to Mayor Mike Duggan. This week, he handed over control of the city's water department and all the controversy that goes along with it. Now, Orr retains the power to restructure, but Duggan will oversee it. So will he continue to hold on those water shutoffs? So when Mike Duggan gets the call from Kevin Orr and hears, hey, guess what? You get to uh, you get the day-to-day uh, -day responsibility of the water department. Mike Duggan's response is? Well, he's going to have to go back and start shutting off water, too, because you, part of this is turning the whole process of creating a regional authority over to Duggan. And I think this signals very much that the creation of the regional authority is going to be handled outside bankruptcy. Yeah. So Kevin Orr is not, not going to worry about that anymore. That's going to be D Duggan's job to do. You're not going to get a deal with the suburbs if you keep letting half the people in Detroit not pay the bills. The, the suburbs are not going to take on that responsibility. So Duggan will have no choice but to restart uh, the shutoffs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he may have to restart the shutoffs. It's about how you do it, though, uh, and that was what the, the no one is arguing that that the water department shouldn't get its money. It should. It needs to. It needs to run much more efficiently in terms of billing and collection. Everybody agrees with that. But shutoffs uh, on you know, little notice uh, without the outreach to, to connect people to the support. And I think Mayor Duggan has made that point, uh, right. saying this was not gone about in the in no. the in the right way. That you uh, need to get more communication right. with the community. The, about the, this. the last thing you want in a city like Detroit is uh, people without access to fresh water. I mean, this is these are these are third world kinds of conditions uh, that that invite all kinds of problems that we don't have and don't need uh, and I think the mayor understands that as well as, as anyone else at the same time you gotta you gotta have people pay uh, the bills that 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 just doesn't work um, so uh, you know the other interesting thing here though is that everyone's talking about uh, the mayor now being in control of the water department there's, there's nothing uh, remotely true about that uh, the, the federal court when it let go of the water department Put a, we have essentially an authority now where you've got representatives from uh, all three counties and Detroit managing the, the, the water department, and the mayor can't hire and fire uh, the director. Uh, he's got to work through that board. Now, he has four appointees uh, to it, which is a majority, but they can't just be removed. So uh, he's not going to be running the water department. What he's going to have to do is work with that board to come up with uh, a more rational way to deal with this collection well, problem. He's got Final to, word, no. Yeah, he's got to do a lot of things. This is He's got to shape this thing up to make it ready for That's regionalization. Right. It's like selling aisles. you got to fix the things that are wrong. Shutoff's just one part of it. He's got to get that workforce down to where it needs to be, still a bloated well, they're workforce. they're doing that. And uh, so, well, they're doing it awfully slowly. Yeah. So, I mean, he's got a lot of work to get this thing ready so that uh, Brooks Patterson, Mark Hackle, will say, hey, we'll, we'll come on Buy board. into this. All right.